When food giant McDonald's announced they were planning to build a new outlet, residents banded together to put up a bit of a fight. Now, leading the charge is Erin Downey. Uh, she joins us now with her husband, Jackson, and daughter, Mirakai. Good morning to you all. Hello. So, they want a McDonald's in your neck of the woods. You don't want it. Why not? Um, we have many reasons why we don't want the McDonald's, but firstly, um, our council unanimously voted against the McDonald's and the community, we had the most uh, applications against the McDonald's that we've ever had in council, 1,100 to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of concerns. Our main concerns are that it is just across the road from our primary school and our kindergarten. We are less than one kilometre away from a national park, which will be the closest that a McDonald's has ever been to a national park. We're very concerned about the litter. We're also concerned about the traffic. It's a 24-hour McDonald's, which is completely inappropriate to our town. We are a sleepy town that shuts down at 10 p.m. Jackson, you, you've managed to gather a hell of a lot of signatures here, not you guys. I know that there's a, a lot of people involved in this campaign. Absolutely. Just tell me what the game plan is today with this box. Change.org has been incredible in helping us to, to garner that national support. We, we shot up overnight by another 3,000, so the, the number's actually incorrect on the box now. Okay. Um, but basically we're taking that out to Catriona Noble, the, the head of McDonald's in Australia here, the CEO, because essentially we've tried to meet with her for the last 18 months and she's refused. We called her yesterday and she's uh, informed us that she doesn't meet with customers. We informed her that we're not actually customers, we're community members and we've come with a petition with over 60,000 signatures saying that you're not welcome in our town and, and you're not wanted. Well, it's going to be hard for the McDonald's bosses to refuse Mirakai today because Mirakai is actually going to be carrying the box. I don't know how she's going to do that because she reckons she can carry it, but there are a lot of signatures in there. So she's going to be handing it over, Aaron, to the McDonald's bosses. What are you hoping that they will do. You're hoping they'll listen, obviously. Absolutely. But are there any indications about their position on this whole thing? Well, uh, we've tried for two years to have some sort of dialogue with McDonald's and they, we haven't had any response from them. So we're hoping today that they finally listen, that over 60,000 people are against this development. And they okay. need to leave our town. When was the last time you guys had McDonald's? <laughs> A good decade at least. Yeah, at least a, decade. a decade. And is there one nearby? Because I know that a lot of the time you can drive along and you go, you know, there's three minutes in the car and there's another McDonald's. I mean, if people are really Absolutely. killing for a Big Mac yeah. or a, a Happy Meal, they can go and get one where? How far do they have to travel? Literally about five kilometres down the road. Yep. Um, what we're finding already in our forest is that more than 25% of the litter found is actually McDonald's branded. And that's with a uh, McDonald's still five kilometres away. So one right next to our park isn't something we want to see happen. Yeah. What do the kids think? Um, I think the kids are against the McDonald's, mm. absolutely. It's, it's incredibly daunting to think that it's going to be across the road from the school. Um, it's something that parents do not want to see. Okay. We are a, a, a very family friendly community and to watch adults, the, for the children to watch adults be sued by a, a bully boy McDonald's company, mm. it's, uh, it's pretty intimidating for the children to know that their friends and their families could lose their house because okay. McDonald's want to push themselves in our community. All right, we'll see how McDonald's handles this, all of this today when Mirakai and you guys turn up there. Thank you so much for coming in the studio Pleasure. this morning. Thanks, Thanks so very much. There you go. Over to you, Georgie. And ben, that is